Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this interesting equation x square minus x, x cube equal to 12. And on the first side this equation is easy one because we'll have only third power, so we'll have three, three roots and moreover I want to say that this equation is really interesting for me because right here we will find complex number root maybe and I hope we will, we will find it because it's really interesting about it. How can I solve this cube equation? I want to show you a really good trick how can we solve this equation. So if we bring this x to the third power in the beginning, so minus x to the third power at first and plus x square, so we just change an order, nothing change, and bring this minus 12 equal to 0 and moreover if we multiply it by by minus 1 because we will have minus in the beginning it's not necessary for us we will have that x cube minus x square and plus 12 equal to equal to 0 so I hope you understand this step we just multiply it by minus 1 because we don't need this minus right here in the beginning so what we're going to do next take a look you can write this 12 as 8 plus 4 8 plus 4 so let's do this and moreover I hope you understand it when I write this 8 as 2 cube and this 4 as 2 square what we'll have we'll have x cube minus x square so this at first and the next plus 2 cube and plus 2 square equal to equal to 0 so I write this 8 as as 2 cube and I write this as 2 square. So what we're going to do next? Let's group this x cube with this 2 square, 2 cube and this x square with this 2 square. So let's group these, these elements. We will have really interesting case because we will have x cube plus 2 cube, I take it in, in parentheses, and minus x square minus 2 square equal to equal to 0. As you can see, take a look we have difference of squares and the sum of cube. I hope you understand this formula, difference of squares, because we can split it into an identity, and right here we have sum of cubes. Sum of cubes formula is, is not easy one, but I write it a square a cube plus b cube. We will have this formula, we will have at first a plus b, and long parentheses a square minus a b and plus b b square. So let's use this formula in this case and let's use our, our easy formula in the second case. What we'll have? Right here we'll have x plus 2, so we'll have x plus 2 and in parentheses x square minus 2x and plus 4 and minus and this is our split it into identity formula. We will have the difference x minus 2 and the sum x plus 2 equal to 0 and I hope you you understand this step because right here we just using a little bit trick right here right in this 12 as 8 plus 4 grouping cubes grouping squares and why I group this because right now I see that x plus 2 and x plus 2 is a common so we can factor out this expression so what we'll have x plus 2 we factor out x plus 2 and in parentheses we will have x square so this expression on the left hand side minus 2x plus 4 and minus x plus minus x plus 2 equal to equal to 0 and if you simplify this we will have that our x plus 2 so we just simplify these parentheses and this second x square minus 3x and plus 6 equal to 0 so really good really good expression right now because right here we will have the product equal to 0 then this element equal to 0 or this one equal to 0 at first x plus 2 equal to 0 and right now we will find our first root if x plus 2 equal to 0 then we will have the next case we will have that x first equal to minus 2 and this is our first first root moreover let's find the second and the third one because we can solve this quadratic equation we will have x square minus 3x and plus 6 equal to 0 we will have that a equal to a equal to 1 b equal to minus 3 and c equal to 6 and we can plug in these all elements in our in our formula what we will have we will have that x second and third will be equal to 
3 plus minus and I calculate this. Square root will have minus 15 and divided by by 2. As you can see right now we find our complex roots because right here we'll have minus square root which is not possible because we don't we need, don't need this minus right here and this will be our complex roots and this will be equal to so we'll have 3 plus minus and I write this minus 15 as minus 1 times 15 and all over all over 2 and moreover we need to know about the rule if we have this case we can write it as 3 plus minus square root of minus 1 and times square root of 15 and dividing by 2. As you can see this is a classic a classic case because square root of minus 1 equal to i and we will have i square root of square root of 15. We will have or I write it in another way we can write it as 3 over 2 I divided it by, by parts by 2 plus minus i square root of 15 and dividing by 2. As you can see we'll find our second and third root and I write this root right here we will have that x second and third equal to 3 half plus minus i square root of 15 dividing by dividing by 2 and this will be our second and third root. So first one in real numbers and the second one in in complex numbers. So this is this is the answer to this interesting interesting question. If you still have any question, write a question in comment. It will be really interesting to read it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.